corked backside 540s. If you find backside more natural, start by learning corked backside 5s. Learning cork spins on a trampoline before you try them on a snowboard is a safe way to ensure you understand how the rotation works before you start hucking yourself. It also allows you to break the trick down so you can learn it in stages. Warm up with some 360s and backdrops. Try spinning into a backdrop as a stepping stone. Spin into a backdrop by dropping your shoulder as you begin the spin. You should rotate approximately 270 degrees backside and land on your back. Do this until it feels natural and then try to continue the rotation after you're bounced to finish the 540 landing back on your feet. Once you've practiced doing the cork 540 in two steps, try to do it in one. This is considerably harder. If a tramp board is available, try doing it with the board on and playing around with different grabs to see what works best for you. When it comes to snow, find a medium sized jump that you're comfortable spinning off and warm up with some normal back fives. This trick is all about staying relaxed, nailing your setup carve and letting your weight fall back towards the tail of your board as you pop off the lip. Approach the jump with the same setup carve that you'd use for a normal backside 540, shifting from your heels to your toes. As you pop, let your weight shift back towards the lip of the jump by altering the angle of your release slightly and paying attention to those imaginary rooms. The amount of huck in backside corks is very small. Most riders will find that grabbing with their backhand and looking at their tail is almost enough to put them off axis into a corked rotation, 